this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And as you can see, we are going to open up the uh, April upgrade. So, we are going to take a look at what's in here and then I will color something using the supplies in here and we'll see what I can do with it. Now, first of all, the box is different. It didn't have this green square on it and it used to have blue all around here. It was more colorful box and they've changed this little, this little thing right here. It used to be a key and now it's a set of eyes peeking at you and it says, think outside the box on it. So my box did arrive damaged, so hopefully everything is okay in here. So let's take a look. Let's see if it's okay. It's all wrapped up nicely. Oh, okay. So this is, they've put the colorful stuff on the inside. And they've given us, <laughs> okay, so it is a more creative box. Only the inside is covered so that you can, you can, fold it inside out and use it but uh, we've got little little things to pop out things to use along here that's cool oh this I'm insane <laughs> all right those are cute okay so first of all let's take everything that's underneath the paper message to myself have fun okay so let's put that over there and we won't be looking in it again so let's see, this is our bottle post, and we don't look in there because that tells us about everything. And then we get our stickers, which is awesome. These are by the uh, person who does our... Oh, we don't have a print. We have a poster this time. Leon Farron. Okay, this... Okay, everything's different. So, oh, cool. Look at that. That's got the face on it. That's pretty cool. So, I want to shape my life with art, and my life should shape art. So, that's pretty cool. Leon Farron. So, we don't have a write-up about them. The um, stickers are different, too. They look like they're vinyl ones. Yeah, they are. Um, uh, I hope they don't go that way for sure, cause for, for the future, because I liked the matte stickers that they used to give us. Okay, and then they give us some acrylic and oil artist pad by Edding here. This is an exclusive format for 140 pounds. So that, that's some nice paper. So looking at this, I think that we might get um, oil pastels or maybe like on here, paint pens. Okay, so let's open this up. Okay, good. Got it open. Let's see if I can. Oh, you know what? Let's just pull the whole tissue paper out of here if I can. there's nothing stuck in here. Okay. Alright, so let's get looking. Okay, whoa. We have something that is humongous. Holy moly, what the heck is this? Permanent acrylic. Canvas. Paper. Acrylic 3D double liner for unique effects. Highly pigmented, permanent water-based acrylic paint store at room temperature. What the heck? Okay, there's more. Okay, so I've taken it off. That's not the way it's supposed to come off. Must be to pull, oh, squeeze these things. There we go. Oh, got a little opening like that. 
Okay, so you can see that. It's a little tiny little opener. And, okay, so that goes in there. Oh, am I going to squeeze this stuff out by trying to get it in? Okay, that goes in there. And that goes in there. Oh, there we go. It's not hard at all. Just have to have it lined up. And what's on this end? on that and oh there we go oh look at that that is interesting hmm very interesting okay well let's see what else okay it looks like maybe we got another one Yes, we did, and this is black, which is, I am so glad, because I was wishing this one was black. I can do, um, I can do backgrounds now with this. This is, this is cool. How do I get this one off? Are these by the same people? Okay, editing, and what color is this one? Just plain old yellow? Pastel yellow, and this one's just plain old black. Black. Okay, so this one has a... A pull thing on it. Oh, and this has different endings on it too. This isn't the same. This one just says permanent acrylic Okay, let's get this off here. is just one ended. Of course the it's tearing everywhere except for that little line it's supposed to tear on. Okay, so this is like a paint marker. And it just has a great big huge nib on it. Wow. That'll be fantastic for doing backgrounds. I wonder if I can get these in Canada. That is cool. Alright, so now what else? Okay, regular sized paint marker. And this is pastel green. Woohoo! Color I love. I wonder if this works by just twisting them. No, <laughs> that doesn't work. Can I get it to rip off this way? I'm not going to try and open it. This has a, a two to three millimeter end on it. Okay, that's, no, oh, I feel one more thing like that. And this one is the uh, same size as this one, two to three. So this big double-sided one we have, the small one is a two to three millimeter, and the big one is a five to ten. So this color is opulent turquoise. Well, that's nice. Now, what else do we have in here? A couple things. Okay, looks like just a pencil. Skokdungen. <laughs> okay, just a 4B pencil. Oh, we got a tinier one, a 1 to 2 millimeter white. That will be useful. And looks like there's one thing left in here. And another paint pen. All right, this is cool. Neon pink. Back to the neons again. All right, that is really cool. So you know what? I'm just gonna take a break. I'm gonna open these all up, including the pad, and we'll we'll test them out. I'll also prime them. All right, so I'll be back in a minute. So there we go. I've got everything opened up and you can see my little marks where I primed everything. So let's go from smallest to largest, okay? So first of all, we've got Oh, I should tell you how they prepped. They prepped really well. Just need it to shake it really well, hold it down, give it one pump, or, well, two, a couple of pumps, that's all, then hold it down, and out it, flew, out it flew. So I haven't used these besides just doing the little priming marks. So let's see how this works. Okay, flows nice. 
this is really strange paper. It's like linen on one side. The other side is smooth. Hmm. So there's our paint, neon paint. It's not too neon. Oh, well, let's save the white till the end. Maybe we can go over something. All right, so that was the one to two millimeter. Now the two to three millimeter. This is pastel green. Oh yeah, these are these flow really nicely. Then another two to three is the opulent turquoise. Very, very nice. Then, this is the, ooh, what have we got, 5 to 10 in the black. Now, I'm thinking I can use this for backgrounds. But let's just see how that works. Oh, man, this is going to be perfect for what I want to use it for. I have to see if I can buy these. All right, now, I didn't do any prep on this because it just says to squeeze the bottle. Let's see if I can open these this time without squeezing. Nope. Where do I squeeze? Okay, I need to hold up here. Oh, that's, I'm holding it in the wrong place. Okay, so this is our one to two millimeter. Oh yeah, okay, so this just leaves like a fabric paint line. And I suppose we can, yeah, that doesn't work too well doing that. So we could put the paint, or paint on and use a brush to brush through it or we could just make lines. But that doesn't seem to work that well. You have to push really hard. Eh. I don't know how cool this is. It looks cool but all right, I need to hold up here. There we go. Now this one is really sick. Let's see, it's not, it's putting way too much, but that's not very good. So I think, what does it tell me on here? Take the lid off and squeeze. It doesn't really tell you how useful that is. Let's, let's look that one up. I'm going to put this out of the way so I don't write on it. An awful lot of paint comes out of those things. All right, so let's look at the art supplies. Okay, it looks like everybody got the same colors. I hate it when they do that. Okay, how to use it. Okay, so draw lines. Do dots. Just an acrylic paste. Layering. Spackling. Mix them. Lettering. I don't know. This is for just getting some thick paint out and maybe use a palette knife with it. That's going to take forever to dry. Let me get my pa a palette knife. Um, where are they now? Should be are they here? Yes, here they are. Let's just use this plastic one. Okay, so we'll go with this big stuff. See? That's for using with your palette knife or just putting the paint on a palette, then what's the difference? And these does the same. I think it looks like everybody got the same ones. Well, no, they didn't because they show this. They show this in pink, yellow, black, peach. Okay, so I think it, people got different colors. But it does say pastel yellow in here. In your box, pastel yellow. No, so everybody did get pastel yellow. What about the other ones? In your box, black. Pastel green and opulent turquoise. 
traffic light and neon pink. Hmm, that's boring to give everybody the same colors. Okay, then we go on to the paper, and then the artist, and so on. So yeah, I'm happy. We're going to have ourselves an acrylic paint page. The paper is buckling a little bit, but let's see if my, oh no, my black isn't dry. None of it is dry, so it's going to take a while to dry. More than uh, normal acrylic paint should have dried by now. Let's see if I open it up and flap it. Okay, those are dry. Well, that's where's the white? Let's see how it goes over these two. Well, there we go. So it's opaque. Let's have you look at that. See how the white went through the green and the blue? All right. Thanks so much for watching me open up this box. Now I just had to get busy and go color something with my paint colors, my paint markers, and all the colors go together really nice. Maybe I can find something that needs a background. All right. So I'll see you in a in a minute. Hello, and I am back with the second half of this video. I have now finished my picture, and I have used my supplies. So here are all the supplies that I received. I did not use the pencil. So just a normal HB pencil, and I didn't use it. This is the picture that I did here. Colored in... Oh, it looks kind of strange on screen. Oh well, um, colored this little unicorn picture in. For the um, yellow one, I did have to put some paint on a on a platter and palette and uh, use the paint that way. There's no way I could use the nibs on this picture. The black was a bit big for what I wanted to use it for, but I managed and I used a I used a. Uh, uh, a, a paint brush when I need it to get into the corners and the skinny pieces. Now when I was completely finished the picture I did also go around all the objects with a black fine liner to just kind of smooth out the, the lines and the areas and to go over some of the lines because of the opacity of the acrylic paint made the black lines go away. And these two were a perfect size for using. These are, I my glasses on, but they are oh boy. Oh yes, they're on my head as usual. They are. They are is that in beaming something? Oh no, that should be a little... Uh, two to three. The two to three. That's the size that I liked. And then we came along with the one to two. And of course I would have liked a bigger one for what I used for the white. But uh, no, they're very easy to work with these colors too. The uh, I only have good things to say about the Edding markers. They primed really fast. They... Oh, well, this one's kind of different. They primed really fast. The paint is thick. Uh, the, the, roll, the rolling is smooth, put lay down. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it. I didn't have any problems with them at all. So, yeah, they are a bing. So, yes, I would definitely pick those up again if I find them. The editing products are a little bit expensive here in Canada because they are imported from Germany. So yes, that's it, I'm finished. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, what are we calling this, a mystery box and art. And uh, have a nice day, I'll bring you a new one next month.
拜拜。